Consent agenda this evening, um, there are two items. One is we inadvertently left um, Patrick, the library director, off of the list for the library building committee, so we need to formally appoint him. And uh, Marlo has requested that um, chapter 90 money for the pavement management, pavement management study be approved this evening as well. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great, thank you. That was it. Um, so first I just want to welcome uh, the Legion members. Um, the reason we're having the meeting this evening is that um, shortly after a planning board meeting back in February, um, where some of the Legion members went before the planning board to express their concern about uh, the potential for harm being caused to their organization by the uh, placement of the new senior community center. Um, we did talk after that meeting and it was suggested that perhaps it would be a good idea for the, the Legion members to be able to come in front of the select board directly and vocalize their concerns. So that's the primary um, focus of tonight's meeting. It's really the only agenda item this evening. So uh, just a couple of things up front, just a larger group than the normal select board, so we just want to get a couple of things across. Um, first would be rules of engagement. We do expect people who are speaking tonight um, to speak at the microphone because of the home viewing audience. Uh, unfortunately, when you don't come to the microphone, a lot of the back and forth is completely lost. So, sorry, maybe a little bit cumbersome, but hopefully these microphones can pick up the questions and comments. Uh, but that's what we're going to ask you to do. Uh, hopefully, people can be um, kind of articulate and, and get their point across. Um, without going on too long, we'll just kind of have to take that under advisement. If in fact some people are speaking too long, we may need to put some sort of a time limit in place. I hope not, but just let you know that that could happen. Um, we do expect everyone to be respectful. Um, age always has its privileges, but, but this is a time where that's going to come into play. So we expect every individual who speaks tonight to speak respectfully. And if um, that doesn't happen again, we'll, we'll deal with it as we need to. So, the, again, the primary focus, just to reiterate, is we're here tonight as a select board to listen to the members of the Legion and their concerns. To the extent um, there are statements made or questions asked that we can quickly answer and resolve, we'll do that, but there may be some things that come up that we just need to take under advisement tonight. So. Um, Again, we'll try to make it as productive a meeting as possible, but we're expecting there may be some follow-up work to do. Okay, so with that said, um, just a little bit of background, because like many things in Hadley, people don't know anything about it until it's, it's hit in the newspaper or they're starting to hear more about it. So we just wanted to give um, a quick background. So I already talked about the fact that the Legion approached the select board to ask for an audience. Uh, the select board members collectively have indicated that our goal is hopefully to find some sort of common ground. Again, it's all one town and we know that we have different, uh, different groups representing their own interests, but we have to look out for the interests of the entire town. Uh, and then, so just a really brief history of, of how we got here. So first and foremost, um, why did we have a senior community center building project at all? And so for those of you who haven't been in town forever, uh, this actually dates back to the 1980s. Um, the idea of having a senior, uh, or improving senior services dates back to conversations that took place that many decades ago. And there were certain community action statements that were put in uh, supporting that. So in 1998 is actually when the Hooker School was converted to the senior center and made available for other uses. In 2004, uh, there was a long-range planning meeting, and that long-range plan dating back then talked about the idea of a cohesive town center, <coughs> pedestrian-friendly infrastructure, architectural synergy, and attractive facilities. 
um, a place where you can shop, participate in special town events, enjoy town facilities, or simply walk and relax. In 2005, that master plan was actually published, and this was all commissioned by our planning board, of course. Then in October, uh, town meeting, at that fall town meeting, that master plan was adopted. Fast forward into 2013, um, the facilities plan for municipal buildings was published, and that was a study commissioned by the select board. The senior center was reviewed, and the numerous deficiencies were discussed uh, at that time. In August of 2015, there was a community survey done um, on a revised master plan uh, that was posted on the planning board website. In October of 2016, a year later, uh, there was a public forum at the special town meeting at that time, which was televised, and a petitioned article to raise money for the new senior center was included in that presentation. Special town meeting then voted on uh, October 27th of that year to raise 5.3 million for a senior center. In January, that uh, amount was approved as a debt exclusion for the senior center by the voters. And then in May of 2017, a public forum on the proposed senior center was held. And that included plans and a discussion of the proposed building in this location. Um, there were a series of questions and answers about the parking lot. There were some American Asian members present at that meeting. And then in June of 2017, um, the master plan update was published, again commissioned by the planning board. And the town center with the senior center was identified as a critical part of the community. And strategies for strengthening the town center were presented at that time. In September, there was a public forum held um, for the October 5th special town meeting, at, what, at which point additional money for the senior center project was presented as a request. October 5th special town meeting, 1.8 million for the senior center was voted. Um, and then on November 14th, voters again approved the debt solution to uh, add those monies for the senior center. And just so you're aware, because I'm sure most of you don't spend your Wednesday evenings watching our meetings, but uh, every select board agenda during the calendar year 2017 from the time these projects were approved um, has included an update on the senior center project. And those meetings are televised open to the public and available on, on Happy Media, uh, their website. So the senior center project currently is being managed um, by the Council on Aging with extensive involvement from the seniors and again there's a formal uh, building committee that is appointed for both the senior center project as well as the library project. So that, that was a lot. So just letting everybody know. So that kind of trying to bring you forward to where we are tonight. So again, uh, this conversation with the Legion folks um, was uh, really kind of kicked off, I think it was the first week of February that was at that planning board meeting. Um, so we're just now meeting. Um, and again, our goal is to listen to the Legion members and listen to what you have to say um, about your concerns about the project. So at this time, then, um, anything else select board members want to add? So at this time, um, would any of the members of the Legion like to see? And Rich, if you don't mind, just again, the folks at home, just say who you are. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rich Webber, is the Navy Ship Away, uh, Commander of the Legion. Uh, about this meeting uh, back in uh, May 25th, uh, who exactly did you meet with? What members of the Legion? Are you talking about the public forum? Yes. Uh, Who was there from uh, from the Legion? Um, I believe Tom Stolarski. Is that the right? And, uh, so, and Stanley Phil? So, I mean, uh, so there, there were people in the audience asking questions. So I only knew the. So it was never really an e board meeting or nothing like that? No, it was a public forum. It was just a public forum. Right, and feel free to just, you know, if you have things to say. First of all, I need to come to, did any board of selectmen ever question what the hardship would be 
for the park and at the American Legion. We have the capacity to hold 380 people upstairs, 200 people downstairs. We have an annual monthly supper with roughly 90 people. This past Wednesday we had a corn beef dinner, and trust me, every part of the place above was filled up. The second question I have too is during the construction, when they start this, are they going to just fence it off and leave us like the last time with no place to park? I'd like to reply on those two questions. Precisely where it is now, but to the west a little bit, and on the uh, again on the south side of that central parking area. So uh, we will have something for you. That's for sure. And uh, we definitely have to make sure that that is done because we are all going to the American Legion to the suppers, and it is a good thing to have. So. We'll, we'll keep you abreast of how that's going to finalize. Do you want to mention that? Sorry. Do you want to mention that? Uh, what uh, Suzanne wanted me to bring up is, again, all the construction will be on the north side of the town property. will not go through 
the parking area from Route 9 at all. We have so stated that that is only for emergencies. It's very uh, specific that the because of the amount of traffic that's on Route 9, they should not be entering or exiting there. And it will primarily be and only be on Middle Street. The one piece that we have gotten the contractors in already in the documents that we have started to prepare is that you all know that there's the 30 foot right of way that the town has through your lot. We have required that any work bringing utilities through that at the end of every day leave the lot in a usable condition. It will not have any effect on you after the end of the work day. Okay, so again, so just in the spirit of so what I think what we're hearing so far is clearly you have a concern about your access to the number of parking places and where those parking places will be located. Um, give, you know, given the types of events that you, you hold periodically at the Legion. Um, and I think maybe just going back to that select board comment, again, with there's so much going on, we try to delegate and have a communication plan in place, which we, we thought should be effective enough. Um, and I think, you know, as I stated at the night at that planning board meeting, I can unquestionably say that uh, there's nobody up here on the, the select board that, um, you know, wants any harm to come to the Legion. We've always looked at the Legion as, you know, part of the community. Um, it's not town owned, but it is part of the community. So certainly um, throughout this process, the idea is to get people to work together cooperatively to figure this out. So, um, as Tim stated, this is a work in progress. This is part of the, the, the process now, is just making sure we have identified um, exactly what your issues are. So, um, so again, I'm hearing loud and clear that the, this construction plan is critically important to you because never do you want to have a situation where your operations are shut down or diminished because of the activity going on in the, uh, the adjacent lot. Anything else from the Legion members? Sure, Jason. I think we were all a little bit surprised when the size of the senior center got voted on and it moved from one size to another size. Uh, I myself was not aware of the positioning of, of the senior center because I'm not able to go to any of the meetings during the day as a lot of people aren't. Um, and I didn't know until Jane, probably a, a month ago, showed me the actual plans of where it was going to go and it was going to be into the parking area. So I probably was just as surprised as you were that this was gonna happen. Um, but in the spirit of things of them moving forward with their project, I, I certainly want us all to work together. Um, and I, I support the Legion wholeheartedly, I always have, and I appreciate your support to me all these years, and um, certainly want to carry that through to uh, making sure that you're taken care of in the proper way. We will work with everybody to make sure that there is proper parking for everybody to use. So I'm hoping that everybody can just work together and we'll uh, do things. I don't think anything was done intentionally to harm the Legion. You're the center of our area there on Route 9, and we want to make sure that you're taken care of. It's important. John, did you want to speak? Now, are you here as a planning board member or resident, or how are you? I'll let me want to take it. Well, yeah, John Michkowski, for some reason, right? Before I come to this meeting, I watched YouTube, where the, where the forum was held October 19th, where the members of the Senior Center Building Committee made their presentation. I made a presentation uh, for the fire substation. At that time, Donald Pitt got up at the mic and talked and said, the OPM told them that this was going to cost a $7.1 million project. And yet, they still were adamant about going with a 5.3. They knew prior to that meeting that the, that building was going to cost $7.1 million. And they purposely 
picked out a figure out of the sky because I can't figure out where they got that figure. They know they can. And they, they come out and did that, just what I suspect, to get the two-thirds vote. Right. I think it was wrong. I think what, what the selectmen did with the construction period of the upper parking lot, and yet you tell these people there's going to be no dis destruction, they lost thousands of dollars there when you leased out that upper lot for construction. And you do the same thing here. And in the construction, they got a plan on the whole thing. And you do that before construction even starts. You just don't start construction, then say, oh guys, we're gonna, we're gonna shut down your parking lot. And that's what you did with the, with the construction of Route 9. You basically shut down their parking. And you guys are gonna do it again. You can't guys keep doing it and doing it. When is all this stuff gonna stop? And when are we gonna start just being honest with the people and tell them the truth? Like on that October 27th meeting, the truth was never said. It was misled. That committee got zero for a budget, and so did we get zero for a budget. All right, how could they get an estimate on anything to do with that site. And there was nothing, nothing ever said prior to that vote on where that building was gonna set. And even at the, your last forum, I asked, what is the safety reason of a building sitting in that position versus sitting in the other position? There was nothing from the fire chief, there was nothing from the police chief. So it wasn't them who did it, and I still, to this day, don't know who did it. I suspect it was the chairman of the building committee that put that plan together. I don't know though. But I certainly would like to find out why that building is safe there, but not safe on the other end to flip it. So let's talk about the, the process again. Um, so, I allowed Mr. Michkowski to speak, but in terms of the process, the what has to happen is that the uh, any town building project, the senior center, senior community center building project, as well as the library building project, need to go for site plan approval in front of the planning board. Um, the committees are put together with the intent that between the outside project manager and architects and whatever, that they will take all of the needs. Um, you know, so obviously they started in terms of determining the size of the building. It was a kind of what their programming requirements for that dictated the um, layout ultimately the size of that building. So again, there's been a group of very dedicated people working on that. Um, I don't have any intention tonight of discussing uh, motivations and who's being truthful, who's not, and all of that. It's uh, not productive in any way, nor is it fair or appropriate to the volunteers of this town. So I think what is relevant, though, is to the extent um, there are parties who feel that the current plan is not suitable and is adversely impacting you. Again, we want to take that into account and we're very hopeful that we can find a resolution. So what I've heard so far tonight in terms of the American Legion, again, is a concern about um, adequacy of parking, the location of the parking, and any interruption to your normal operations. Because again, I I think everybody here, and Joyce said it, very clearly we want to make sure that we can accommodate. That said, there are other needs in the town as well. Um, we have uh, overwhelming support for both the new library and the senior center, um, not to mention the master plan that, that it fits into. So we need to be very respectful of all of the voters in Happy who've already um, voiced their opinion. So we're, we're doing the best we can to carry forward with the will of the voter here. So can, can I just ask, are there other specific issues to the Legion that you want to make sure that we're taking into account? Jerry DeBat? I have one, and I'd like to make sure it gets taken care of uh, the best of our ability here. And that's I want memorialized uh, that our decision tonight and our decision to go forward is always respected, regardless of who sits in the select board seat. And I would think that that would be a very important aspect to you. We sat up here and we told you that you'd be able to utilize the parking lot at the senior center. 
Um, it's going to be a lit parking lot. It's going to have a nice walkway down to it. But I would think that it'd be imperative to you guys to make sure that we, uh, in some way, memorialize and make sure that this goes on in, its, in perpetuity. So I don't know how we need to do that, David, or what we need to do to take a vote, uh, or when we should be taking this vote. But I, I think it's imperative that we get that done.
of the parking and then whether or not um, trying to work on a cooperative schedule with the uh, municipal buildings that are going to be put there would be conducive. I mean, obviously, if there's a funeral, you're only going to know a few days in advance that um, there's a funeral occurring. So again, we'll, we'll keep that conversation going to see how we can make that work for everybody. One thing, though, regarding the disabilities, I mean, I, um, and you're right, I think everybody in this room has probably been in the Legion, and I'm, I'm not exactly aware that the Legion is um, compliant for people with disabilities. Um, you know, there's no elevator or whatever, but we're, I think what Jared was alluding to is we were hopeful that to help with that situation, if in fact um, the Legion parking area can be improved, that it would enable the Legion to designate handicapped spaces and spaces close to the building so that um, folks with walkers or who might have difficulty navigating would get those spaces and people who were more able-bodied um, could then use the, um, the spillover parking up above. So I think that's something that we definitely want to take into account. <coughs> so is this the list? I'm not saying it's instrumental, but it's uh, not um, critical items, but I just want to make sure we have everything. Oh, that's a good point. Um, Jerry was just suggesting that, you know, some people, again, may be kind of coming to this for the, for the first time or um, are reluctant to get up to the microphone um, in a meeting like this. So if there are other, other issues that weren't articulated tonight that you think need to make that critical needs list, um, we could ask that they be submitted. And if you want to send it directly to um, David Nixon's office, um, that would that would work just so that you're not worried about, you know, getting lost or whatever. And then David would make sure it would get to the folks who are working on the project on the Senior and Community Senate Building Committee to address. Is this a question or a... This is a question. Clarification on construction of the parking lot. That wasn't, wasn't rented out, out to the DOT. That was rented out to the, a private contractor that used it that did the construction on the night. Is that correct? So that's a question. So yeah, so ETNL was the uh, project manager, so they were the ones who... Um, then why didn't you have them clean the mess they made here when they left? They, they were responsible for doing the damage in the Legion parking lot and the upper parking lot. And the select board should have made them repay that whole lot. It's not too late. They damage it, let them fix it. Yeah. So the Route 9 widening project was a project that was run by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation. It was never our project. We piggybacked onto their project in order to replace water and sewer lines underneath the uh, water lines, sorry, not sewer, water lines underneath Route 9. Uh, ETNL was the general contractor for that project. They were never our contractor. They were the Department of Transportation's contractor. We had problems with ETNL. They started out well, but then towards the end of the project, they became more difficult to work with, and I understand that they could damage the parking lot. They also decided to, uh, on our side, they decided to pay for nine the final top coat right on election day to 2016. So I was actually on the phone trying to get a court order to shut them down when they finished the project. So it was not a good relationship between the town and ATNL. So we had to deal with their shenanigans as well. Um, we are exploring ways of raising funds uh, for parking. Uh, I'd be happy to talk about that later. So I just want to go back to that memorandum of understanding. It sounds like um, the current select board is uh, more than willing to enter into some sort of uh, memorialization of that agreement. So uh, I guess I'd ask, I don't know if, um, for Sister, if, if um, we should use Rich Wick over here. 
use you as the point of contact for that, or you and Frank, or how would you like to? I mean, is that something that you would be interested in doing before we have a changeover on the select board? Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll um, we'll task David with working on drafting something like that, and then working out with you. Is that right to speak? Uh, sure, go ahead. Okay, uh, my name is Stanley Hill, 52 East. Haste, waste, and, uh, and secrecy. Uh, according to the parliamentary procedure, a non-resident nor uh, property taxpayer can be assigned to endure expense to the town. Uh, about two years ago, shown on the uh, Havoc TV, the, the select board uh, gave the director uh, assignment to have a new s senior center building with no forum plan and uh, likes or, or don't likes, she bullied to have a berm constructed on the uh, Legion parking lot, plus directing heavy service trucks to use the Legion lot instead, instead of using the hooker school entrance. Why is the Legion involved in this anyhow? I hope the new library leaves uh, proper footage for heavy equipment to pass. Uh, somebody's going to get seriously hurt by trying to enter or uh, exit uh, uh, through onto Route 9. Uh, the, the proposed city center uh, to be built to have uh, 15 outer jags on the uh, outer walls, which would be attached in small pieces, resulting in a weaker structure, more expensive, and continuous repair. With no building lots available here in Hadley, uh, it seems as though uh, you should uh, look at the campus center at UMass Amherst, or Chicopee, one-story library, uh, but a useful, full-fledged uh, user basement. And then we had the useless expansive attic in the proposed uh, 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 project. If you want a high building, why not build a second story instead of that uh, stupid uh, extended attic? Last month, a planning board member asked if they could uh, reserve a room at the center. No reply. This is a community building paid for by the heavy uh, property taxpayers. Uh, the planning board and others and me should have a site there if possible. With the uh, select board assuming responsibility to this great misunderstanding, I ask, I beg the select board to delay this uh, 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 project temporarily. Replace Susan as the bully she is a non-resident. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, we have to stop right there. That that did cross a line, and I, we're not gonna listen to that sort of, so so let me summarize what you said up until that point. Um, you're indicating that a con there's a concern about heavy equipment and the safety, concerned with heavy equipment potentially moving in and out of that lot. Um, so we are, I'm adding that to the list, okay? And then just to address the, uh, the use of the building, uh, one of the things that hasn't been um, necessarily obvious to people, and I, I think maybe we need to do a uh, better job talking about it, is it is the purview of the, of the select board, which board I'm talking about. It's the purview of the select board to determine building usage for town owned buildings. So um, we are um, already starting the conversations in anticipation of these building projects to determine what sort of swing space will be needed for the various departments, including the planning board, including Hadley Media. Um, so we're going to um, be addressing that sooner rather than later because there's a lot of concern about that, and I think we already have some excellent ideas. Uh, Municipal Building Committee is helping with that process as well. And again, you know, it is the purview of the select board to determine the building usage. That said, a library is a library, and a senior community center, those are the primary purposes. Um, but the senior community center folks have already have been working cooperatively with Hadley Media um, to work on them at least having some temporary space there. So 
Um, again, uh, nothing, uh, no personal comments will, will be allowed. So is there anything else that you want to say that has nothing to do with individuals? So let's just uh, start off with a uh, public forum. And we've got to start somewhere because whatever has been done is all a waste. <coughs> okay. All right, thank you. Okay, anything else? Anything else that you want to make sure that we hear loud and clear? Um, and then I think we should also uh, select board to talk about kind of where we go from here now that we've had some of this feedback tonight. Okay, so if not. So um, we are meeting next Wednesday, April 4th. That's our next regularly scheduled select board meeting. So. We will take uh, these comments and concerns under advisement, and we will make sure that we have a plan in place to ensure that they're addressed as part of this um, building project going forward, okay? So uh, I'd like to thank everybody that came out tonight. Uh, I'm sorry sometimes it's a good, good Donnybrook fight that draws people out to the, the meetings, but have they, uh, they always seem to prevail and figure out a way to make it work because again, we're all neighbors. And I think that point was made by a couple of people tonight. We need to make sure that um, everyone's needs are met as we spend what precious little dollars we have on these projects. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the master plan being moved along and carried out. And I'm certainly looking forward to a resolution with the Legion to make sure that um, everybody's satisfied with the, with the outcome on this. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get it done. All right, so if that's it, then uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion made and seconded. All in favor? All right. Good night, everybody.